Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Minnie's Halloween Dine has officially begun and I wanted to come out and get something to eat and see some of my favorite pals in their Halloween costumes like Mickey and Goofy and Pluto. But also, I hear the Rise of the Resistance boarding groups have been going all the way up to like 5 p.m. So it being 2.30, we're gonna see if we can actually grab a boarding group at 2.30. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is 2.35 p.m. and we're just gonna check to see if we can join a virtual queue. I mean, that'd be amazing, look at that. We can literally join a virtual queue at 2.35. So that is amazing. I'm in it, there we go, done. Wow, so cool. 1.25 and we did it at 2.35 p.m. How cool is that? So boarding group 125, I can't even believe we were able to join. Like that is like the most amazing thing. That just shows you how low the crowds are here at Walt Disney World for the month of August and going into September. We have plans for two things now. We're gonna be able to ride Rise of the Resistance if it gets up to boarding group 125, and then we're gonna have dinner at Hollywood and Vine. But I'm sure there's gonna be other things we're gonna do. I wouldn't mind riding some other rides and just enjoying this beautiful park. Our reservation for Minnie's Halloween Dine isn't for quite a while, maybe a couple hours. So we're just gonna go navigate around the park. But first I wanna head over to Hollywood Vine and just kinda scope out the situation. Oh yeah, I wanted to make sure that it was Halloween dine time. It's normally a mini seasonal dine, so they have a summertime, a Christmas one, but this just switched over I think yesterday, and it was only a couple weeks ago we were here for the summertime dine, and all the characters like to dress up, and it's such an amazing dining experience. It used to be a buffet, but they switched it up since the shutdown, and I don't think it's going back to a buffet. Maybe it will. Who knows? We'll find out, but we'll get more to the food once we get ready for our dining reservation. Now, I kind of want to just figure out what I'm going to do next. I think maybe we'll head down to Galaxy Edge. I hear there's a new coffee drink I might want to try, and also, I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt. I've been trying to keep well themed. So I like to plan out my shirts for the parks that I visit. And I got my Star Wars Roosevelt on today. And I love this shirt. And I figured since I was coming here today, I might as well uh, hang out in uh, Batu for a little bit. Oh, and then take a look at this. We got a cavalcade coming. Hey, it's Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Hiya, pal. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the new annual passes Disney just announced. What do you guys think about them? I actually just renewed my annual pass for August, so mine is good for a whole entire year. So I'm going to be able to keep my annual pass and I'm going to still get more reservations and also I'm going to be able to keep my memory maker. And I'm really happy about that, that I got a whole full year of it. It literally, what, what amazing timing is that? But let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. And uh, I don't know, I'm excited. I mean, I'm happy that some people are able to get annual passes again. That's the most important thing. Now we're gonna head into Galaxy Edge and maybe just kind of like wander around, try to buy our time till Rise of the Resistance. I wouldn't mind doing Smuggler's Run even, or if we can get an Olga's Canteen. There's a lot of possibilities. I think I'm just gonna go check on the wait time for Smuggler's Run since we've already committed to riding Rise of the Resistance and just by the fact that we were able to get a boarding group at 2.30, I'm gonna bet that Smuggler's is probably not a long wait at all. Looks like it says a 25 minute wait, but I'm thinking it's going to be much less than that. Luckily, I found a friend to help me co-pilot the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, every Chewie needs her Han or his Han or her yeah. We got to pilot together. Together. <laughs> All righty. Nice, thank you. Remain seated and supervise young Yeah, we did. The flashing button to take off. Okay, I'm going to do it. Nice and steady. No crush on the way out. Look at that. Yes. Yes. We got it. Come on. Keep it going. 
There we go. One more. Yes. That was so much fun. I love riding Smuggler's Run, and it's always the best when you're the pilot because it just seems like it's a better experience overall. And me and Promise luckily became pilots and we got to pilot together. Now, I think we're gonna head into Andy's backyard where we were working together at Smuggler's Run. We're gonna start working against each other. Toy Story Midway Mania. Midway Mania, we got our arms going. Now yep. we're gonna kick each other's butt. That's the way. We were partners other. before, now it's competition. Yeah, competition time. And it looks like it's only a 15 minute wait. And by what I saw, like Smuggler's Run was 25 minutes and it was five minutes actually. I'm pretty sure this is a walk on as well. I switched up to my Spider-Man mask because I feel like this ride is kind of like Web Slingers over in DCA. I mean, the way that they shoot it out, but I'm excited, I'm gonna take the hat off. We're not gonna film too much because I take this serious. And Promise is going down. What? No way, no, not even possible. We'll see, we'll see, I'm going for a cat. Rule number one, don't waste your strength on the practice round. No. No, no, you gotta <laughs> warm up. You gotta warm up. Don't listen to me. Oh, oh yeah, all right. We'll see who's got the tired arm at the end of it. <laughs> nice and steady. <laughs> Holy moly. Woo! Let's see. Time to tally it up. Oh, we know who won. Oh, 217. I went for a tap. I said I was gonna go for a cat and I got a cat. <laughs> Nothing like a little friendly competition. You know, promise, right? <laughs> Wait, is he saying friendly? It was, that was not friendly. He kicked my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was friendly. I just, I, I really do enjoy the uh, competitive side to Toy Story Midway Mania. And uh, it was nice to have some competition. You did pretty well though. I wasn't too bad. I, no, I still you did got pretty a good. Any day that you get a beaver is a good day. A beaver day. Now I think it's time we go get some celebratory drinks. Well, I'm celebrating because I just you, beat you. Yeah, you beat me. So how about I buy you a drink for beating me? <laughs> oh, is that was there a wager? I think so. I would have made a way better bet or something. Oh, no, no, it's, <laughs> no. A drink. it's a drink only. Drink only. We're going to go to one of my favorite lounges that kind of re recently reopened. And uh, I'm not too sure how the seating arrangement is, but I'm just excited to be able to go in there. And I'm talking about the Tune In Lounge right next to the 50s Primetime Cafe. Right next to 50s Primetime Cafe is the Tune In Lounge. And like I said, I love it in here. I used to be able to just come in, grab a stool at the bar, order some food, enjoy some drinks. But now it you looks either, like. You tune in or you tune out. Oh! And I think we're tuning in. We're tuning in. <laughs> this is such a cool bar. I love coming in here. They don't have any bar stools at the moment, but we have a nice little section right here. We can sit down, enjoy a drink, watch some Prime TV, and just enjoy the 50s. Here's a look at some of the special drinks from Dad's Liquor Cabinet. We have Dad's Electric Lemonade, the uh, Patron Platinum Margarita, the Maui Maui, Maui Waui, and the Magical Star Cocktail. This is the uh, popular one here. But also they've got the beers, and of course they've got the Bud Light. Oh, and the uh, Grapefruit uh, Hefeweizen. Loaded with a shot of Deep Eddies. Wow, that's really, really good. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. <laughs> Travis, were you going to leave your credit card? No. no. This is the life. This is the this life. Is the life. <laughs> Watch the little two. Little Dick Van Dyke. That's what was on before, the Dick Van Dyke show. As we were sitting in the tune-in lounge drinking our beers from dad's liquor cabinet. Well, I don't know if we put beers in a liquor cabinet. Anywho, our Rise of the Resistance boarding group is called, so back to Batu. Now our Rise of the Resistance boarding group team has grown and now Jackie's with us. 
Look at that. The resistance is growing. And we're ready to face the first order. Are you excited? I'm definitely ready. <laughs> All right, recruits. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. Here we go. I'm getting a high reading on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the binary motivator. Yes. Engage repulses and hold on, recruits. All ships launch. It's also really important to point out that all three of us had separate boarding groups, but they let us all ride together because they are really accommodating with the boarding groups. As long as you have a boarding group, but yeah, you have to have one. Now look down at your feet and memorize that color code. I just want to. Oh, I'm blue. When this cell door opens, I'll call you in by that color code. When that cell door closes, you're interrogation. Don't you move a muscle. You do know that everybody can see your spy equipment, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. At least you know how to hide. He's Captain Obvious. He's like, put it up in the air like he doesn't care. <laughs> put it up in the air like he just don't care. <laughs> This is the first time I'm going to back out. We're going to back out. Yep. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. Another day, another prison break, and I love Rise of the Resistance. It was so fun, and it was so thrilling because the person that was sitting next to me uh, never wrote it before, so his expectation was like, like it wasn't there. He didn't know what to expect, and we really played it up for him, and he cheered and clapped, and he said it was the best experience he's ever had, and his new favorite Disney ride, and it kind of made me feel happy. Like, that was a lot of fun. Now we just have a couple minutes before our dinner reservation, but before we noticed there was no wait time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, so I think we'll just try to squeeze one more ride in before it's dinner time. I mean, when there's like no waits, you have to take advantage of this time. This was Promise's old stomping ground when it was the great movie ride. It was. I used to say, welcome aboard. My name is Promise, and I'm going to be your tour guide through this magical journey through the movies, and I miss Aww. it single day. It was so much fun, but we get to live a little bit of the movies right here through the railway. So, do you like Mickey and Minnie's Runner Railway? I was one of the ones who was not a believer, but they made me a believer because you had so much fun on this ride, and that's what I feel what the DMR ride was about. It was about having fun and getting put in to the movies. The movies we're in just happen to be a cartoon now. Now we're in the movies. Yep. Oh, hi, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? No, I must have hit that track switch.
are all hungry and it's time for dinner. I am so excited. I'm so excited to see the Halloween decorations, the Halloween costumes, and the spooky music. A monster bash hopefully will be played. I can't wait to see if Goofy dances along to that and just enjoy some good food at the Hollywood and Vine. Here is a quick look at the menu and you get to choose basically your entree. It comes with salad and uh, bread service, but all the offerings is beef tenderloin, macaroni and cheese with shrimp, uh, salmon, a nice turkey dinner, a spice rub pork loin, and then asparagus with a summer truffle risotto. And I basically had almost all of these and then you get your dessert. So it's basically a three course meal all for one price with character dining for $55 for adults, and then children, three to nine is $36. Not too shabby. You would love Yeah, let's do a photo. Yeah. table and I can't wait to see all the different characters are gonna be walking basically right here and they're all gonna be in their festive Halloween costumes along with the cool Halloween costumes it's got some Halloween decor and Halloween music I'm not too sure if you can hear it but it is really awesome. They were playing Heffalumps and Woozles when we first walked in, and I feel like that is a Halloween song. I mean, you guys let me know in the comments, but Heffalumps and Woozles is probably one of the scariest scenes in the Magic Kingdom on a ride. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Heffalumps and Woozles. And welcome to Minnie's Halloween Dine at Hollywood and Vine. Someone's at the door. Can it be a trick or a treat? It's a very sweet treat indeed. Please welcome Minnie and Mickey. It's Count Mickey. <laughs> this is amazing. And I love your little spider buttons. You see them on the front, the little spider buttons? <laughs> awesome. Thanks, pal. Oh, yay! And we're I ended up getting the beef, which is something that I've had before that I liked it a lot, but I asked if I can have the Thanksgiving dinner sides with it. So I'm basically gonna get a turkey Thanksgiving dinner, but no turkey, instead the beef tenderloin, and I think that's amazing. So I'll get all the, the fixings, the stuffing, the uh, mashed potatoes, the gravy, hopefully the cranberry relish too. We might luck out. Cheers. Cheers to Halloween. <laughs> Oh yes, we are. Coming together for fun for all. We did a bad job. And your treats be sour. May your drinks be sweet and your treats be sour. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Oh wow, the dinner is here. Holy moly. Here it is, the entrees have arrived and it looks so delicious. I asked for it medium and it looks like it's perfect. We've got the mashed potatoes and the green beans and she said she was gonna bring out the stuffing too because I did swap it out and get the Thanksgiving sides and I'm just excited to dive in. And I think I'm just gonna start off with the beef. Look at that, the first cut. And I like this, uh, I don't know what this is on top of it. It's like a uh, 
like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. good. <laughs> Much too good. <laughs> Look at this. And we're gonna try it without the potatoes, and then we're gonna, you know, add a little potato to it. But it looks so so good. Uh oh. Look, you stopped in for a spell. It's Goofy and Pluto. Goofy and Pluto are coming now. Here comes Pluto. <laughs> oh, there's Pluto. <laughs> I love it. I love your whiskers. They're very springy. Oh, scary. This is so, so good and so well seasoned. And they brought out my stuffing. Now, everything is all you care to enjoy. So you can ask for more additional sides. And look, Jackie got more mashed potatoes. And it's like so amazing. It's it's really good. The only thing is you can't swap the meat, so you can't get you can't go from turkey to beef to pork. So you gotta stick with whatever meat you get. But I love this stuffing. It is my favorite. And look, it's got little cranberry in there. So so good. Almost missed the goof. <laughs> oh, he's oh look at. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> wow, you are looking good. He's not that is amazing. Look at the way Goofy is creeping over there. Holy moly. <laughs> now we're gonna add all of it together a little bit of stuffing a little bit of mashed potatoes and the beef and this is the perfect bite Flying purple people leader, one eye, one horn, flying purple people leader. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> A little buttons on the bat, and then you got a little Mickey pumpkin there. <laughs> oh, the spider, too. Oh, I don't have any spider. I do have a boo mask. That, that's, <laughs> I do got my boo mask. <laughs> now I think it's time we get to dessert, and everybody actually orders their own separate dessert. And I think all three of us actually ordered something different, so we're all gonna have like a big variety. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. The s'more one looks so good. Here is a look at all the different desserts. I got the vanilla creme brulee, and this is the biggest creme brulee I think I've ever seen. Jackie got the plant-based cherry pie, which looks very interesting. <laughs> interesting now yes. it does dense look looking bright. Yeah, very dense, yeah. but it doesn't look as interesting as Promises oh, yeah. s'more. Oh yeah. It, they're also calling this a s'mores pie, but I think it's like a s'mores pizza pie. It's I a mean, pizza yeah, pie. Like a pizza, like <laughs> Deliciousness. Mint on top. Very fancy. Now I'm gonna try the creme brulee. And like I said, this is a big portion here. That's good. I'm happy with mine. Dan. It's a spooky, goofy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. 
Danny Who's That's going to do it for us today. What an amazing dinner. So fun. And it was great to just hang out and have a Hollywood Studios day yeah. with some friends. Yeah. Make sure you check out Jackie's channel, Super Enthused, and Promise's channel, Promise Hope. I'll put their links in the description. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!